how can you motivate someone when it's a tough day? It's a Monday morning, you're not feeling too great, you know you've got to do an endurance session, what tips can you give someone to help them, motivate them to do an endurance <laughs> session? Okay, other than good nutrition, um, obviously choosing your, your training time correctly, um, and obviously just trying to visualise the end goal of what you're looking for, why you're doing this, you know, why put yourself through it. You know, my big picture is, you know, when we were talking yesterday, when you're going to the Sasalan, you want to bring everything that you've been training for into that. Everything. So you just bring all of your training together and that's your end goal. So that's your that's vision. That's my vision. So that's your so, that's so you're saying so what you're saying is if you have a vision of where you want to go, yeah. You're saying that motivates you on the days that you that's, don't want to train. Of course. I think about it. That's my goal. That's right. what I see at the end. That's what so so you're yeah. going for your so basically what you're saying is motivation comes from reward. Of course. Right. It's the same in any sport. Yeah. They train. They play a big match, you know, that's the end goal. You know, so you bring all this together. That's the key, that's, how, that's my vision, that's my goal. Is your vision getting clearer of how you oh, want to sure. move now? Of course, everything's yeah. uh, becoming clearer since the Garuda. Right. That's the big key uh, for me. What about, what about personal motivational um, matters or qualities that you may have? Like, for example, you're very much a family man. Of course, yeah. Right? Yeah. So, like... Do you, on days that it's really hard, Stuart, you know, some of the sessions that we've had, what about, do you think about your kids? All the time. Right. All the time, yeah, that's a big drive. Okay. Uh, for me, obviously not everyone has kids, but, you know, for me, that's one of my big drives, my kids. Okay. Because a lot of people have asked me, especially in the last year, they've said to me, you know, Stuart seems to be really driven. And I, and I was like, or ambitious they've used. And I said, well, not really. I think he's doing it because he's focused. Yeah, that's a better word. Yeah, he's yeah, focused because he's a family man. True. And he wants to make sure that he's, he tries to give his kids a better life. Of course. I mean, life's hard, you know. Mm. Why make it even more harder when, you know, especially the way things are these days, you know. So I want to be able to give my kids you know, something of me that they can take for the rest of their lives, you know. I know people might see it as just physical, but it's much more than that. You know, there's a lot, lot more depth to it than that. And that's what drives me, you know, my kids. So that's your internal motivation? Of course, that's what I think of every day. Right, Six okay, o'clock in the morning, eight o'clock at night, ten o'clock at night. That's my kids, that's what pushes. That's, okay. that's my goal. That's brilliant. And the last thing I was going to say... So those two things, on the days that you're feeling like, I know I've got a train, it's raining outside, I'm tired, I can do with an extra hour's sleep, <laughs> right? You're saying it's the goal that you have and the kids. Yeah. Anything else? Um, well, they have to ask themselves that as well. I mean, why are they going to get up? Why are they on the course? Why are they training? Why have they chosen this art? You know, I believe this art chose me rather than I chose the art. Okay. Um, so obviously just things like my family life is obviously my drive, but you know, the art makes so much sense, whether it be in this or the martial side, it's just everything you could dream of and need in any physical or uh, mental um, subject. So. Like, everyone can see your skill now, and they've said, Stuart's speed, or they've said, Stuart's technique. Where do you think that you focus the most on? Um, and where do you think most of your development has been in? I if think, you used to look at yourself, where would you say, I have developed mainly in this part? What would you say that is? I think speed for sure. Um, I've always had a little bit of speed, but... I think how we've been training over the past year, um, I think my speed has gone up by probably at least 35% easy, at least. 
but that's because uh, we've been training it obviously correct. But I feel that my my um, my uh, lung car, my footwork, yeah. has been my biggest um, improvement. I think okay. rather than just being very, I think it's a lot more dynamic now. And what about your strength? Strength has gone up at least. I'll be honest, at least thirty percent easy. At In least. a year. Uh, less than a year. Wow. I think it's less than a year, much less than a year actually, because I only started training properly around just under a year, like the real Sutria way, because of obviously um, going a lot more into it. <laughs>